everyone, Riaz Datu here with 3D Crystal and Cockpit 3D. So today's tutorial is going to be showing you one of the new features in Cockpit 3D version 2.0, which is the PDF feature. Now, many times when we have to provide a quote or um, some sort of a preview or a proof to our customers, we're taking screenshots and sending them to the customers. Uh, the problem with that is that, number one, it doesn't look as professional. But number two, if you ever want to reference the order, the quote, the details of what the final version that the customer had approved uh, is, um, it's very difficult to keep track of that if you haven't um, done it correctly. So that's what the PDF feature helps you to do within Cockpit 3D. So let's assume that we had this uh, award that we're working on, okay? And uh, the customer, let's let's just work on something very quickly right now. I'll just import uh, the test logo here again. And um, let's assume that this here was the project and I clicked on go. And that's exactly what the customer, we want to show the customer as a preview, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to click on PDF. And the first thing we want to do is make sure that our company logo is there. So whatever your company logo is, you'll click on Browse. And I'll just find another test logo here. And so I've got my test logo right now uh, that's going to show up on that final PDF. And then we're going to select what fields we want to include in the PDF. Now, by default, there's always going to be a date uh, that the PDF was generated. So you don't need to put that. Uh, however, anything else that you think that's going to help you keep track and that's going to give the customer the information that they need. So, for example, you might want to add a field and say, okay, the PO number or the proof number. Okay, so this might be proof number one or PO number one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, the second field might be um, the price. So we're going to tell them what the total cost will be. And perhaps the uh, third column might be something along the lines of the burn time. In the case of where you're doing B2B, sometimes you're being outsourced to by a company that uses you for your subsurface engraving. And they might want to know what the burn time was so that, um, you know, they can, uh, they can price it accordingly as well to their customers. Many times companies are pricing based on burn time. So whatever the case may be. So there we go. Now, if we always know that we're going to always have these fields, we can click on Save Settings, in which case then, tomorrow when I reopen up the software and I have to do this again for another project, it will remember these here. Um, and all I would have to do is really clear the values that I had from today's project. If, however, um, you know, you want to keep it um, blank, then you don't have to click on Save Settings and you'll be able to create new fields every time. So let's say this is proof number one. Uh, the cost for this burn is, let's call it $100. And the burn time, let's say it took uh, 15 minutes, all right? Now, in terms of what we're going to show as the preview, we can choose a screenshot. So as you know, I'll just come out of here quickly. We have multiple views, right? So we might want to show two views. We might want to show one view. We might want to show what it looks like as a scene. Usually, we want to show what it looks like as a point cloud, point cloud being Go there, this here, right? Where it looks like what it would look like in Crystal. So what I'm going to do for the purpose of this exercise is I'm going to show two proofs. I'm going to show what I see here on the top left corner, which is the front view. And I'm just going to adjust my perspective view a little bit there. Let me just maximize this so it's easier to do. There we go. And I'll show the perspective view. And I'm going to want it to be a point cloud. I don't have to do that right now. I can just set that up in the PDF. So Let's go back to my PDF here. And there's two views that we said. We wanted to add the top left. There we go. We wanted it to be a point cloud, not the, not the scene or layout view. And you can choose the size here. So if you want it to be a quarter page, half page, full page. But the system will also automatically optimize it for the size of the page. So if you select quarter page, but you only select one, um, one view, then it will automatically scale that to the full page or the half page, right? So in this case, I'm going to, as, well, let's do an example. I'll say quarter page for this, and um, we'll call this front, save. And then we'll add another view, which is going to be the perspective view. It's exactly the one I wanted. And we'll leave it called perspective. And I want it to be the point cloud that the customer sees. We'll leave it as quarter, okay, and save. And that's it. We're done. Now I can click on View PDF. 
and, it, and or save PDF if I'm ready to save it and email it to the customer. In this case, I'm just going to click view PDF, and here's what it is. So you can see that it's proof number one. The cost was $100 to burn time is 15 minutes. By default, it's got the date there. It has the logo that I put there, so it'll have your logo when you put your logo there. And it's got the preview of the front and the uh, perspective view. And it's labeled correctly as I had typed it. Now, you'll notice that it did a half page because it optimized. Even though I clicked on quarter page, because I only selected two, um, two, of, the, two of the ports, uh, it automatically sized it for half. If I had selected three or four, then it would have uh, done it as a quarter view. Now, one thing I notice here is that the point cloud looks a little weak. It looks a little um, dim. So I just want to take a quick look at that and understand why. Maybe my either, I think maybe my point space settings wasn't correct. So we'll just come out of here. And yeah, my layers. So my layers wasn't correct. It should be, as you know, by default, 8, 5, and 2. And point space settings are correct, 07 and 07 for X, Y, and Z. Click on OK. We'll just click on Go again. Yeah, it looks better now. I'm just going to click on my PDF preview. And we're going to regenerate that by clicking on View PDF. Let it calculate. And there we go. There's the front view. It's a lot brighter now. And there's the side view. And now what will happen is, is that you might have proof 2, proof 3, proof 4. But finally, when that customer has approved it, now what you'll do is you'll make sure that you save the scene that was approved. Um, so this scene here, let's close this, file, save scene. You'll save this scene along with the PDF that was approved. And you will also ask the customer to keep a hold of that PDF because many times those corporate customers, this is very applicable to corporate, many times what happens is next year they want to order more awards that were exactly like last year's awards. So uh, instead of having to kind of rejig everything, redo everything, now you'll be able to have them just send you that PDF so you can pull up that PO number and you'll be able to see in your files and in your folders that PDF matches what they've sent you. You've got the scene file there. You've even got your CAD or your DXF there. So it's just a simple matter of popping it in the laser and pressing on go. Incredible.